Hey there, welcome back to the homestead, or more specifically, the gate to my homestead. Um, to, uh, today I want to work on the gate opener. The uh, old one's been, giving, been crapping out on me, so I think it's time I replaced it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and I wanted to um, just kind of give you guys an overview of what gate openers are all about. Most of what I use a gate opener for is for keeping her in and the dog but also it keeps uh, other things out. Let's get started. My old gate opener was a uh, Mighty Mule like 330 or something like that. And it uh, started giving me the beeps. It just kept beeping and beeping and beeping. I replaced one of the little circuit boards on there uh, and it worked for a little while and then it uh, started beeping again. And the main circuit board on that unit is about 250 bucks. For a little bit more, about $100 more, I can get a brand new opener. Um, we'll go over it a little bit, but one of the nice things about this is there's no control board on the opener itself. I think the issue there is when I opened it up to replace the smaller control board, I broke a seal or something like that and water got into that unit and I think it just destroyed it. So, here we are. What we got here is a new gate opener, uh, MM371W. Not sure what it means, but it is what it is. Let me uh, crack this thing open. I guess we could probably save these. They might come in handy. Let's uh, dump this thing out. Okay, so we'll check this one out real quick and then we'll check out my old setup and see what's different. A couple things I can tell right off. Rup, rup. Right off the bat is this one has a control panel, which I kind of like a little bit more. So yeah, this looks like I'll just mount it on the pole there. It might fit in my box and, uh, and work that way. So, seems pretty easy. Control power and uh, the control wires for the controller and also the mounting hardware. Now, luckily I don't have to deal with any of this because I already have it on the old gate there, but we'll go over it real quick just so y'all know. And a uh, button for the visor. Uh, let's see what else we got. A um, transformer for uh, 110 to 12 volt. Output, 19 volts. Uh, mine, I'm a little bit different. I'm pretty far from the house, so I run off all solar. And get the old one off and um, get ready to throw this one on. This is my uh, funky control box that I made. As, as some of you might know, I'm a hoarder of construction materials, so I just had this um, that I tore off an old job and figured I could put it to use. Uh, battery, so I replaced the battery on this one thinking that was it, you know, checking all the boxes and uh, it wasn't, it didn't stop beeping, so new battery's good. Uh, also, I wrap it in foil just to keep it, or that uh, space foil, it kind of keeps it warm. When it gets cold, you don't want a cold battery, they don't work as well. So I think first things first, I'm going to mount the new control box. Alrighty, got the box mounted. Um, I put it in here because it'll just keep it even more uh, safe from the weather. Um, this setup's pretty easy. Basically, power to the control box here via these two wires and then power from the battery. Or, what I use is this charge controller. Uh, basically, what it does is it pulls, gets power from the solar charger feeds the battery and then um, gives out power to the load or whatever you, we're using and um, this will be our load. Uh, this charge controller is pretty neat. I mean, it's really simple. It just takes power from the sun and then trickled charges the battery if needed or like right now we don't have much sun so it's kind of low on battery. But yeah, it doesn't overcharge it. So it's just, just a simple little safety. Better than just going direct to the battery with a solar charger or a solar panel. Um, so yeah, basically we'll pull off the load side here and feed that to the panel and then um, I guess 
swap out the arm. So these are cool connectors. If this was out in the uh, wild, I call them assholes, but uh, basically what they do is they have a little rubber gasket in there and it'll grab a hold of the wire and keep it watertight. That's all done. Let's uh, get this old unit off. Just real quick, we'll go over the uh, parts here. So this new unit came with uh, these brackets, which are the same as these old ones I have. Um, basically, they just go on your pole, whatever you're using, metal or wood. And uh, they kind of have a little uh, concave shape to them to wrap around the pole. Um, then this one has this piece here. This is for a uh, gate that operates by um, pulling open. So the arm will pull onto the property rather than because I'm on a hill here, my gate opens out. So I have a different style arm. It's a push to open bracket that just holds the arm in a different position and uh, allows it to push out. So that's basically the um, pole brackets. And then there's one more here, which is the um, bracket that attaches to the gate on mine. You can see here, just a little wedge piece that uh, runs some bolts through and attach it there. Pretty simple. The toughest part is getting them in the right position. Luckily, this opener and the new one are the same size, so that's cool. One thing that I would suggest is <clears throat> make it so that the opener is kind of tilted at an angle, not drastic like this, but in case water does get into the ram part here, you see I'm already dripping water. Um, it won't allow it to flow back into the controls. So yeah, if you can, just try and give it a little bit of a lean. Let's get the new arm and put that up. Yeah, so this is cool. Just one uh, one wire from the arm slash motor to the board here. Very cool. Well, one bundle of four wires. Seems pretty easy. Looks like a red, black, white, green. And they gave me a screwdriver, which is nice of them. All right, um, did I bring the antenna? So that's all the connections from the motor to the control. One other thing, this has a antenna that power that uh, for the remote control. And this, I ran it through a little hole here. And I'm not sure if you can see the wire, but it comes through and I poked it out the side of the box. Just put this cute little antenna on there. Looks like a Sharpie cap. So. I think I'll power it up and see how it works. All right, so we got the power wires hooked up, the motor wires hooked up, antenna going. Let's uh, flip it on. And check the instructions. Powering the system, locate the on off switch. Did that, toggle, oh. Okay, it's definitely on. System will take approximately 20 seconds to power up. Okay. Next, um, learn a transmitter. Okay, seems pretty easy. On the control board, press and hold the enter button. Looks like this one. Okay, that works. Push this. Okay, that works. Well, that was easy. Let me unhook the gate here. Okay, come here. 
I'm gonna open it. Watch your fingers. Because I'm testing it. So, see how it's not opening all the way? We need to uh, set it to open all the way. Okay, in order to set it to the open, push to it. the limit setting, push the enter and up arrow. It makes noises, and then we push the up button. Yeah, to put it where it needs to be. Right there makes me happy, and then push the enter. No, 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 no. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. I got it, Olivia. I'll get it. No, I think you're doing it upside down. Watch out, please stay out of there. Because they're the battery. I know, you're so excited. Well, there you have it. Got the gate opener on. It's getting a little dark and a little cold. So, I think, I think I did it. I think also too, my battery on the uh, control pad here went out, so gotta fix that too. But, I'm just gonna put a couple things together and uh, I think we're good to go. Well, cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. His hair is, he's right here. It's oh. a different hair. He has white hair and little hair? Yep. Oh, because he has a baby? Yes. Oh, he has a baby in his tummy? No. Uh, in my house? Yeah. Oh. What's <laughs> that baby's hair? Yeah, it's a little baby microphone. Oh, is baby's hair. Yeah, the hair, the other microphone is put away because we don't need that one. Oh, I want, in, I want my big friend's hair back on his head. <laughs> well, it's sleeping right now.